Phenomenal pest behavior in this hockey game between Toronto and Detroit. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. We've got Bunting laying the hit right there into the boards. Ref gets in his way. Puck's going to come to him, makes the pass. Cross-check to the back. Goes down another one. Goes down, sells it a little bit. Ref says, both of you. I'm taking both of you. Now, he's got a reputation for you know, flopping a little bit, and he's going to get the call for embellishment. And he's like, what? Why me? Why me? What did I do? And they're like, well, you threw yourself to the ground, and he didn't hit you that hard. And he's like, fuck you. He's like, I didn't even hit you that hard. And he's like, yeah, I'm making you look tougher. I'm making you look tough. And now they're in the penalty box. They're still jawing at each other. And he's like, I've heard about you, man. I've only heard bad things. I've heard bad things about you. I've heard zero good things about you. And he's like, oh, keep going. Keep going. All right, cool. And he said, I've never heard a good thing about you. I've never heard a good thing about you. He's like, yeah, well, did you hear about this and this and this? He goes, I've, I've never heard that. I've never heard that. What are you talking about? All right, end of the, end of the second period, there's a big scrum. And Bunting's back on the ice, and you're going to see him come in as the third guy right here, 58, just trying to break it down, gets ready. Raymond comes after him, and now they're talking, and Raymond's just punching his hand because he's holding his chest protector, and he's just punching his arm. Then he throws a little jab there and then runs away. I like that. So, uh, well, let me go back. I like this. Raymond, number 23 on Detroit, is, like, punching his arm because he's being held. He's like, stop holding me. I'm going to punch your arm again. Bam. Punch your arm again. So then Bunting is like, all right, I'll throw a little, dra- I'll throw a little jab. Bam. <laughs> I'll throw a little jab your way. Uh, bam. Right to the chin. Bam. Okay. And then after he throws that jab, he just uses the ref as a shield and tries to get out of there. And Raymond's fired up now trying to get after him. And the ref's caught in the middle. And that stinks. And then they finally separate and things are going their own way. And then what happens, uh, another kind of funny, just great pest behavior out of Bunting. He realizes Oh, there's a stick underneath my feet. So I, I made it so you can see the feet and their faces. He's like, whose stick is that? Number three on Detroit. He wants that stick. But he's like, oh, you, oh, get off my stick. Oh, you want me to get off your stick? Go fetch it. <laughs> uh, why don't you go fetch your stick? Actually, you know, oh, and then he gets pushed by number 53, which only allows him to move the stick even further because now he tightens up his feet on the blade and now he's just dragging that thing and the ref's like i saw what you did i saw you i saw you kick his stick 10 minute misconduct so they kick him out of there and now people are talking are the refs being too unfair he's just being a pest a lot of this he was the only one of that whole scrum to get a 10 minute misconduct for kicking a stick i don't know his thoughts he said obviously i play on that edge and in that role that draws a little bit more attention to myself and i know that and i'm okay with that i've played that way my whole life I play that way in every level, even in the American League. I don't plan on changing because it got me here to the NHL. So I just got to keep playing, keep being focused on playing my game and not worrying about anything else. And I started this breakdown thinking I was going to rag on bunting because, you know, having a being called for flopping all the time, that kind of stinks and is a bad reputation. And I come away from the breakdown being a big bunting fan. I love a good pest that knows he's a pest and he's going to pest it up. Thanks, DraftKings, for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you as always. And thanks for you guys for tuning in and watching. And if you want to see more and you enjoy more, you can leave uh, suggestions and requests. There's a link below. And also, if you subscribe, that helps me out a ton. Thank you. See you later.